guys welcome back to my channel we are going to Spire city in Rhineland Palatinate in Germany which has approximately 50,000 inhabitants this is located on the left bank of the river Rhine this city was founded by the Romans and it is one of Germany's oldest cities we are now in the city center as we can see retail shops and restaurants are now open again after quite some time due to the corona pandemic restrictions some actually requires covid 19 negative tests results or proof of vaccinations but some don't these outdoor dining areas are open again and uh, finally we could enjoy our lunch or snacks or just ice cream while sitting outside enjoying the sights of the city And now we are heading towards the Spire Cathedral. Now we are in front of the cathedral. This cathedral, a number of other churches, and the Alt Portal or Old Gate actually dominate the Spire landscape. Spire has been a diocesan town since year 346. Its first churches and monasteries were built in the 6th and 7th century. just so lucky today to have this beautiful warm weather so we could uh, enjoy walking outside sightseeing in the city That building on the opposite side is actually the historical museum of the Palatinate. It is situated across the square from the Spire Cathedral. We are now on the right side of the cathedral.
in front of us is actually the Mount of Olives. It is a group of figures in stone that portray the biblical event that took place on the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem. It represented in earlier times the center of the cathedral cloister and was destroyed with it. In the 19th century, the spire sculptor Gottfried Ren created the figures that we see here today. We are here at the entrance of the cathedral. We will see if it's actually open for the public. We are inside of the Imperial Cathedral Basilica of the Assumption and St. Stephen, which was founded in year 1030 by the Holy Roman Emperor Conrad II. This cathedral contains a unique crypt and the tombs of eight German emperors, kings, and three empresses. In 1981, this cathedral, which is one of the largest and most important Romanesque structures, was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. If you wish to know more information about the cathedral, in the description box you can find the link to their official website. is a children's playground and um, around it are some seating areas. Finally, it's summer again. We could enjoy outdoor activities. It's really important, especially for the children, that they could spend the day outside playing with their friends. Now we're going to head back to the city center again. That's the cathedral! This is Spire Rathaus or Spire City Hall Just opposite the cathedral
that tower in front of us is actually the old city gate. Look what we have here after a long and tiring walk in the city. We are treated to this delicious cake and ube pandesal by Moody Cakes by Isang. It's our second day in Shpaya. The weather is still perfect. After a very good breakfast, we are now in the outskirts of the city in between Berghausen and Romerberg. Basically today, we're going to be spending the day with nature, hiking around the fields. Let's go and have fun! <laughs> For nice figure. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We met in the great outdoors. Maligid gani ko sang sa ako ha. Sometimes you need to go and take a step back. In the wilderness of our inspire um, because it's a nice day we just had to enjoy the nature the kids can go hiking after a good breakfast and this is the view of the fields a lot of people are driving Bisaya. The church bells are ringing and this is where we are in this beautiful fields of red flowers. Look at this! The whole field is 
full of red poppies. Mode Blumen, as we call it in Germany. Unbelievably beautiful. I cannot get enough of this. Look at this very nice sitting area here in the middle of the fields. And in this area, our white wildflowers are also here. After a very long walk, we are very hungry, so we decided to go to this very interesting restaurant, Vietnamese restaurant. This restaurant is actually located in the old cellar with a very interesting and beautiful interior. So here is the video. Enjoy! And also in the middle of our table, here is a well with water and some greens down there. It's very interesting. The food we have are so delicious and also the drinks, homemade iced teas. I would say I would highly recommend you visiting and trying their food. Here ends our two-day escapade in Shpaya. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Until next time!